Hey everyone, the subscriber count has hit 110 and has been there since Sunday and thank you very much for that. If it grows by at least 90 more before Clary's birthday, which is June 6th, I'll likely do a live stream of her present opening. And if it was to grow noticeably over that, uh, then a live stream will be guaranteed. And now to get into the video. The video I posted this past Sunday has stirred quite a lot of controversy, not in the comments of the video, but over at the Facebook page I'm in, where several people said I was wrong in what I did, while others thought I was fine. Now my intention of trimming her hair was just to neaten her up a little bit and avoid her looking like a mass of hair with nothing but a pointed nose. You can certainly see videos here on YouTube and images elsewhere of rough collies that look like that. And it's a look I simply don't want for Clary. And that is the number one reason why I gave her a little trim. The things that people said to me in the group, I'm just going to be summarizing and not covering 100% of what they said. The first thing they said was this. Why cut her hair? You just need to trim her paws. As I just said a minute ago, I don't want her to look like a mass of hair with a pointed nose. Next was don't cut the guard hairs, just use a undercoat rake to remove shed undercoat. Although there might be some truth into never touching the guard hairs nonetheless, as I've already said twice, it's how to prevent one from looking like a mass of hair. Now there are genetics involved in hair length to where at a certain point they will stop growing, but nonetheless if they get too long uh, then all you can do is cut back some in order to avoid a mass of hair. Now as far as an undercoat rake, yes you do need that. Collies are double coated and you do need a means of getting a shed undercoat out once it's shed because otherwise it will mess up your dog's temperature. Concerning uh, using an undercoat, I do have one, but Clary does not have an undercoat grown in yet, so therefore I haven't used it any. Once she does get her undercoat, then I will need it in order to remove shed undercoat. Now a third con concern they had was that I was using the wrong scissors. That's actually probably a valid uh, concern. What I'm using are kids' scissors that I've had for many, many years. I was just, <clears throat> I'm just using what I have in the video without going out and buying certain special scissors. At some point though, I do plan on having the right scissors. And the fourth concern was the table I had her on being a dining room table without a surface to aid in traction and to avoid slips. That is a valid concern which I will fix. And just like you might see if you've taken your dog to professional groomers, there are all grooming tables which you can buy that probably are better than just a regular dining room table. Moving along, there were also statements uh, that was stated in ignorance. Now I'm not saying that the person who made the statements are ignorant. I'm just saying that what they said they had really no way of knowing whatsoever. One of them was that I did no research whatsoever before buying a rough collie and this simply isn't true. I'm over a year passed from the time I first became interested in rough collies until I actually had Clary, and close to a year went by from the time in August of 18 when I paid a deposit for until July 18th when I actually brought her home. And then some were assuming that I cut her hair entirely too short. Concerning this accusation, only about a third of the video has been watched for the vast majority of viewers. They have no idea just how short I cut her hair. And as you can see, I came nowhere near to cutting it all off or cutting it very short. 
Now with double cold breeds, as I've said in previous videos, you don't want to do a short cut and definitely you do not want to do a shave because they need their undercoat in order to maintain correct body temperature when it's hot outside and when it's cold outside. And then another assumption was that I got a long haired dog but want to cut her hair short. Again, that is an assumption. Nobody at all actually knew that. And again, if they had actually watched the video, they would have seen that I did not cut her hair short by any means. And with that, I'll conclude this response video, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.